Today, I want to talk about a Canva feature that is extremely helpful if you're brainstorming an idea, it could be a book idea, or you just want to organize your thoughts and you just want to write things down. This is the tool for you. Before we go ahead and create our whiteboard and we do it in real time, I wanted to share something that I did quickly before recording this video. Let's say I want to write a memoir about my life. So I'm thinking about my childhood, as you can see here. I did another post-it on my adolescence, my young adulthood, leaving the home, getting married, a marital struggles, depression, anxiety, isolation, and all the good stuff, okay? Right? Within my story. Now, let's say this is one of the features that I want to show you because it can really help you out when you're trying to organize your thoughts, especially when it comes to a book. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. You see all these post-its here. We're going to select all. And then here on the these three dots, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And there are a few options. The option that I want to choose, it's actually the option where it says sort. You can sort by topic depending on what you wrote in the post-it. You can go ahead and uh, sort by color. And that's what I want to show you. You can also sort by name or by reactions. Let me go ahead and click on by color. Under sort, I'm going to click on by color. So when I go ahead and did that, it, it changed it into groups. So now here, group title. Now I can write, I can do something like chapters one to three. And then under adolescence, this group, I can do chapters four to six. And then in the last group, I can do something like chapters seven to 10, right? So now you can go ahead. The cool thing about this whiteboard is that it's infinite. So I'm going to, you see how I'm minimizing it. It's infinite. So you can continue to add as many post-its as you want. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and add, you can add, let me show you. You can go ahead and add here at the top, at the, at, on the side. Then I can click on this and it adds one on the bottom. I can click here and you can add one to the bottom and you can also drag them, which is a very cool feature. Now let's go ahead and say we're going to use, we're going to create one right now in real time. And we're going to do one based on emotions, what we're feeling, maybe to gather our thoughts. Maybe we, it's a, it's a brain dump where we're just dumping everything on a page, but we want to be able to sort it by emotions and feelings. So let's go ahead and go to the home, uh, the home page of Canva. So on Canva, we're going to click on where it says whiteboard. And under whiteboard, we have some options where it says templates. Okay. You have many different templates. You have mind maps, whiteboard, floor plan, poster, family tree, timeline, logo, graph, chart. There are many, 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 many different options. You can use this in business. Ooh. You can use this in business if you're having meetings or to do a vision board, as you can see here. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and let's say we are writing about our feelings are in our emotions, right? And we just want to gather them and see if we can identify the little patterns, right? So let me go ahead and click close. And what you're going to do once you're on the uh, whiteboard, you can click on S and guess what? The first thing that popped up was a post-it. And you see here where it says tour guard. I don't want it to reflect my name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on these three dots and I'm going to click on remove name. But if you're sharing this document with other people, you can go out and make sure you have a name because you want to maybe add some reactions to someone else's post-it, especially if you're using it in, in, as, in, in the form of like at work or you're sharing ideas with someone else. That is a great feature to use. But now in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about my emotions. So let's say here is depression, right? And then I'm going to write down, I'm going to choose the color blue. And under depression, let's say I write something like feeling like isolating myself. Let's leave it at that, right? Then I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to click on S again, but you see it's a different color. So for the yellow, I'm going to leave it as yellow. And let's say I'm going to talk about being happy and joyful over my kids feeling gratitude for my home, uh, marriage, you name it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on S again on my keyboard. And let's say for this one, uh, feeling proud 
And then, but now this is for me as a woman, just not a mom, not a wife, feeling proud, seeking knowledge and wisdom. Okay, something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a color. I'm gonna give it a purple. So now let's say I'm gonna, I wanna continue writing on that purple, on that note, right? So we're gonna do, let's say I'm gonna write on this sticky note. I'll write something like loving life, loving myself. And then I want to go ahead and drag it down so I can see it. And then I'm going to click one here, but let me drag it over here. And then I can add something like loving my work and all things that I do. And then let's say I want to go ahead and add something else here where I add uh, depression, things of uh, anxiety, battling with ruminating thoughts that don't stop. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and get a sticky here and then write something like excited about the future experiences with family, right? Okay, you get it. Now what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and sort all of these by emotions. So I wrote it down. I freely dumped it on the page. Now I'm going to click on that. I dragged it. I made sure I highlighted everything. I am going to click on those three dots. I'm going to click on sort and I'm going to sort by color. Once again, you see it here. So now we can uh, name the, uh, the groups like we did in the first example. Now, let's say I just want to summarize all these emotions. Guess what? I can. I'm going to click here where it says magic, right? And we're going to search for, okay, here, create summary. I'm going to click on create summer, summary. <laughs> Look how cool this is. I have my summary here. Let me go ahead and magnify it. And this is the summary. Emotional states, experiencing depression, anxiety, feeling joy, gratitude, excitement, proud of seeking knowledge and wisdom, positive outlook, loving life, self-work, joyful about family and experiences. That is how cool this is. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete all of this and I'm going to start fresh. Let's go ahead and just highlight everything. I'm just going to delete it. Now we can do something like this. Let me click on templates. We're going to choose a template. I'm going to choose this one where it says mind map. And you see here we have this mind map. You know what? This one doesn't convince me. Let's say I want to use something like this. Oh, this one sounds, this one looks good. But however, it's so, let me just stick to this. Let's say I want to go ahead and create, a, I want to do, a, I want to write a book. And it's a self-help book. So I'm going to write on the top self-help and then here I'm going to write something like self-help. Who am I helping? Who am I helping? It's going to be very specific Christian women. Perfect. And then here, what are the four key points that I want this book to be about? I want it to be about faith and then let's say it's overcoming obstacles on here. Let me go ahead and just, let me exit out of here so you can see. So here it's overcoming obstacles and then, whoa, can't spell today. Overcoming obstacles and then here, uh, finding purpose and then here, Ooh, I don't want to move it. Okay, and then here, finding purpose, and then uh, maybe igniting or learning to trust God. That's a big one. Okay, so let's say this is what my book is going to be about. It's a self-help book, but it's for Christian women. It's about faith, overcoming obstacles, finding purpose, and learning to trust God. Now, on the bottom of these, as you can see, you can start brainstorming different things that you can add. For example, here it can be it talk about an, your definition of faith. And then I could put here 
uh, an experience an experience with faith so what encouraged my faith or something like that it may be experience this will be experience number one and then here we will do experience number two right and then you get the point we can start doing that and now what we can do here you don't have to use everything that's on those these templates that are already done for you you can go ahead and delete it right and you could delete the column. You can delete everything pretty much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything because I don't need that. The cool thing about using a template that it's, it creates the entire, like the build of the map for you and I'm going to go ahead and just maximize this so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so you don't have to even come up with it from scratch. You have it here. It says use these to create uh, whiteboard magic. You have the sticky notes, connectors, which are these little arrows, flow chart shapes. So you have the shapes here. That way, this is like your point of reference. So these are the elements within the whiteboard that you can just continue to duplicate and use. And then if you want to go ahead and add elements, you can, which is what's cool. And this is what, um, why this is helpful, especially when, when you want to get your ideas out there. Uh, even if it's like a vision board. So let's say this is a self-help book and you're looking for like different elements to represent that specific, you know, idea. Then let's say, for example, you're like, you know what? I like this sketch. Let me just start. Sometimes we're so stuck on our ideas that we're like, okay, what else do I write about? What is, so you know what? You can always add some elements and just bring your ideas to life. Just little things like this so that maybe you could get inspired faith and hope. Right now, like, for example, I just saw something that is very important. Faith over fear. We It's so easy for us to feel fear. So maybe under where it says faith, I can go ahead and let's say uh, duplicate this, right? And then here I can add something like talk about something you fear. I can add that. It just... I just got an idea based on one of these elements here. Um, and then you could just go ahead and decorate your whiteboard however you want to go ahead and decorate it. Let me go ahead and minimize that so that we can see. And then just continue to add, maybe make a collage. And it's really up to you how you want to go ahead and do this. Next time that you want to go ahead and journal, maybe just dump all your thoughts into a paper or on sticky notes, go ahead and try Canva's AI powered whiteboards. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you on the next video. God bless.